brightest stars of Orion the Hunter. Hey there, Stargazers. I'm James Albury of the Kika Silva Plot Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. And I'm Marlene Hidalgo, science teacher from Miami-Dade County, Florida. And I'm Dean Regas, astronomer from the Cincinnati Observatory. Almost everyone knows that the most famous star pattern in the winter is Orion the Hunter. And although everyone loves his red shoulder star, Betelgeuse, Orion's other three bright stars are also quite wonderful. Let's show you. Okay, we've got our skies set up for any clear night in February from 7 to 9 p.m. your local time. And if you look south, you'll see Orion in all his glory. The dead giveaway is the three stars equally spaced in a row, which mark his belt. Above the belt are the two bright stars, which mark his shoulders, and below are the two bright stars, which mark his knees. The name Betelgeuse supposedly comes from an Arabic word which means armpit of the central one, and is correctly pronounced Betelgeuse, but most people pronounce it Betelgeuse, so they can remember it. Because if you stepped on a beetle, you'd get red Betelgeuse. At least that's what lecturers and planetariums have been telling kids for years. At any rate, Betelgeuse is a gigantic red variable star. When it contracts to its smallest size, it's 500 times as wide as our million mile wide sun. But when it expands to its largest size, it's almost 900 times as wide. And its red color indicates that it is a much cooler star than our yellow sun. Orion's other shoulder star is named Bellatrix, which in Arabic means the conqueror. And although it's much smaller than Betelgeuse, it's still seven solar diameters, which means it's seven times as wide as our sun. And it's a pale blue-white star, which means that it's many, many times hotter than both Betelgeuse and our yellow sun. Orion's left ankle is a white supergiant star named Rigel, and it's much larger than Bellatrix, 92 solar diameters, or 92 times as wide as our sun. His other knee star, named Safe, is blue in color and is likewise a supergiant, although somewhat smaller, 21 solar diameters, which makes our sun look really puny next to it or any of Orion's four brightest stars. Now, although experts disagree as to the exact distance of each of these stars from Earth, they are all hundreds of light years away, which means that when we look at them, we see them not as they exist now, but as they existed some time in the past, depending on how far away they are. For instance, when we look at Bellatrix, we see it as it existed 243 years ago because it is 243 light years away, and it takes that long for its light to reach us. We see Betelgeuse as it existed 429 years ago because it's 429 light years away. But as far away as his shoulder stars are, his knee stars are much, much farther. Indeed, Rigel is 777 light years away and SAFE is 725 light years away. Wow! Now let's look at something a little bit closer to home. Look up to the right of Orion and you're sure to spot a bright white light in the night sky, Jupiter. And next week, you'll have a great chance to actually notice Jupiter move from night to night. Use a pair of binoculars and look just above Jupiter for a pair of stars. They're about two degrees. That's four moon widths above Jupiter. Look on the night of February 27 and Jupiter and this pair of stars will be in line. Keep watching over the next 10 nights and you'll see Jupiter move out of line with these two stars. March 1st, March 3rd, March 5th, March 7th, March 9th. Neat, huh? And another reason to practice using your binoculars is that, ta-da, comet Pan-Stars may be visible in the western sky after sunset in about two weeks. Comets are notoriously unreliable, but when they behave, they can be an unforgettable sight. So there you have it, the four brightest stars of Orion the Hunter, each one much larger than our own sun. And so far away that no one alive today will see what they actually look like in the present time. Something to think about and marvel at while you keep, keep looking, looking up. up.